Top 10 Things to Do in Split Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Split, a historic city where the ancient and modern collide, surrounded by the dramatic backdrop of the Dinaric Alps. Split is known for its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, ancient Roman ruins and vibrant nightlife. Make sure to watch until the end, as we saved the best thing to do in Split for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe. So be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Split is located on the eastern shore of the Adriatic Sea, in the region of Dalmatia in Croatia. As of 2021, the population of Split is estimated to be around 178,000. The city is a blend of the ancient and modern, with the historical heart of the city centered around the spectacular Diocletian's Palace. It's a wonder of ancient engineering built by the Romans more than 1,700 years ago. The narrow streets within the palace walls are filled with locals selling their wares, the smell of fresh seafood wafting through the air. Beyond the palace walls lies a beautiful waterfront promenade, lined with palm trees and cafes, perfect for enjoying a coffee or a cold drink. Split boasts some of the most beautiful beaches in Croatia, with crystal clear waters and stunning views of the Adriatic. From Bakfis Beach, just a short walk from the city centre, to the more secluded stretches of sand on the nearby islands, there's no shortage of sun and surf to enjoy. Perhaps the best thing about Split is its people. The locals are friendly and welcoming, and always happy to share their city with visitors. So whether you're exploring the ancient ruins, sipping coffee at a seaside cafe, or simply soaking up the Mediterranean sun, you're sure to feel at home in Split. But let's start with a short introduction to the city's history. Split was founded as a Greek colony in the 4th century BC and later became an important Roman city known as Spalatum. It was the birthplace of the famous Roman emperor Diocletian, who built his palace there in the late 3rd century AD. Over the centuries, Split was ruled by various powers, including the Venetians, Ottomans, Austrians and Italians, before becoming part of Yugoslavia in the aftermath of World War I. Since the breakup of Yugoslavia, Split has been a part of independent Croatia. Now let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in this amazing city. Number 10. Explore Klis Fortress Klis Fortress, located about 10 kilometers northeast of Split, is a stunning fortress built into a rocky hilltop that offers visitors a glimpse into the rich and tumultuous history of Croatia. Dating back to the 7th century, Klis Fortress has been the site of numerous battles and invasions, including those by the Ottoman Turks and the Venetians. Visitors to the fortress can explore the various sections of the fortification, including the fortified walls, the courtyards and the towers. They can also visit the small museum, which houses various historical artifacts and displays. But the real highlight of a visit to Klis Fortress is the stunning panoramic views it offers of the surrounding countryside. From atop the fortress, visitors can take in breathtaking views of the nearby mountains, the city of Split and the Adriatic Sea. Klis Fortress has also gained popularity in recent years due to its appearance in the popular TV series Game of Thrones. Fans of the show will recognize the fortress as the site of the city of Mirin in Season 4. Whether you're a history buff, a Game of Thrones fan, or simply looking for a unique and breathtaking sightseeing experience, a visit to Klis Fortress is definitely worth adding to your itinerary while in Split. Just be sure to wear comfortable shoes, as there are many stairs to climb to reach the highest points of the fortress. Number 9. Take a day trip to Kirka National Park Kirka National Park is a must-see destination for nature lovers visiting Split. The park, located about an hour's drive from Split, is famous for its stunning waterfalls, pristine lakes and rich flora and fauna. A day trip to Kirka National Park offers a perfect opportunity to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and immerse yourself in the beauty of the Croatian countryside. The park's main attraction is the Skradinsky Book Waterfall, which cascades down over 17 natural terraces, creating a series of pools perfect for swimming and relaxing. Visitors can also explore the park's many hiking trails, which wind through the lush forest and offer breathtaking views of the waterfalls and lakes. In addition to its natural beauty, Kirka National Park is also home to a wealth of cultural and historical sites. The park contains several old mills, which were once used to process grain and lumber, as well as a number of traditional stone houses, 
where visitors can learn about the traditional way of life in the region. The Vesovac Monastery is a stunning and historic site located on a tiny island in the middle of the Kirka River. This Franciscan Catholic monastery dates back to the 14th century and is still active today. To fully experience the beauty of the park, a boat ride is highly recommended. A boat tour takes visitors through the park's most scenic areas and provides an up-close look at the waterfalls and lakes. Number 8. Explore the beaches of Split Split boasts some of the most beautiful beaches in Croatia, which are perfect for swimming, sunbathing and enjoying the crystal-clear waters of the Adriatic Sea. There are many beaches to choose from, each with its own unique features and attractions. The most famous beach in Split is Bakvis, which is located near the city centre. Bakvis is a sandy beach that is very popular with locals and tourists alike. It's perfect for families with children, as the water is shallow and calm. Other great beaches to visit include Znjan, located to the east of the city, and Kazuni Beach, which is located in a small bay to the west of the city and is surrounded by pine trees. The beach is pebbly and the water is crystal clear. It's a popular spot for snorkeling and diving. Overall, the beaches of Split offer something for everyone. Whether you're looking for a family-friendly beach or a secluded spot to relax, you're sure to find the perfect beach in Split. Number 7. Touch the toe of Gregory of Nin The statue of Gregory of Nin is one of the most iconic landmarks in Split. The statue is located in the historic Old Town, near the entrance to Diocletian's palace. This magnificent sculpture was created by the famous Croatian sculptor Ivan Mestrovic in 1929. The statue is a bronze statue of the medieval bishop Gregory of Nin, who played an important role in the Croatian church during the 10th century. One of the unique features of this statue is its giant toe. Legend has it that rubbing the toe of the statue brings good luck, so visitors often come to rub it. In addition to being a cultural and historical landmark, the statue has become a symbol of good fortune and prosperity in the city. The statue of Gregory of Nin is also situated in a very central location, making it easily accessible to tourists who are exploring the old town. It's a great place to take a break from sightseeing and enjoy the lively atmosphere of Split. Number 6. Enjoy the local cuisine and see the fish market. When it comes to the local cuisine in Split, seafood is king. With a location on the Adriatic Sea, it's no surprise that the city has a strong culinary tradition based on the freshest seafood. One of the best places to experience the local cuisine is at the fish market, located in the heart of the city. The market is a bustling hub of activity, where fishermen and vendors sell a wide variety of seafood caught that morning. The seafood in Split is prepared in a variety of ways, including grilled, baked or fried. Some of the most popular local dishes include black risotto with squid ink and grilled fish. Other local specialties include chivapi, which consists of small grilled sausages made from minced beef and lamb, served in a flatbread or pita with onions, sour cream and ajvar, a roasted red pepper sauce. In addition to the fish market, there are many seafood restaurants in Split where you can savour the local cuisine. Many of these restaurants are located in the old town and offer outdoor seating with a view of the harbour. They serve everything from traditional Dalmatian dishes to modern twists on classic seafood favourites. Number 5. Go on a day tour of Plitvis Lakes A day tour to Plitvis Lakes National Park is a must-do activity when visiting Split. The park is located approximately two hours from Split and is renowned for its stunning natural beauty. The park is home to 16 interconnected lakes, which are renowned for their vivid colours, ranging from turquoise to blue, and are connected by a series of cascading waterfalls. During the tour, visitors have the opportunity to explore the park's stunning natural scenery, including the waterfalls and crystal clear lakes, while also learning about the region's unique flora and fauna. Visitors can walk along wooden boardwalks that wind through the park, offering stunning views of the natural landscape and observe a wide range of wildlife, including birds, fish and amphibians. The Plitvis lakes are not only a natural wonder but they also have a rich cultural and historical significance. The park is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site due to the intricate ecosystem of the connected series of lakes, caves and waterfalls, including the striking Sastavci waterfall. Overall, a day tour of Plitvis Lakes National Park is an unforgettable experience that provides a unique opportunity to explore one of Croatia's most beautiful and iconic natural wonders. It's an excellent way to escape the hustle and bustle of city life 
and immerse yourself in the tranquility and beauty of Croatia's natural landscape. Number 4. Take a boat tour to the islands of Hvar, Brak and Vis. A boat tour of the Croatian Dalmatian Islands is one of the most popular excursions from Split, and for good reason. This full day tour takes you to some of the most beautiful islands in the Adriatic Sea, where you can swim, sunbathe and explore charming villages. You can explore the island of Hvar, where you can see the beautiful beaches and coves, as well as the historic town of Hvar itself. You'll have time to explore the old town, see the magnificent 13th century city walls, the Renaissance-style Hvar Cathedral and sample some of the delicious local cuisine. On the island of Brak, you can visit the famous Zlatni Rat beach, which is known for its unique shape and crystal clear water. You'll have plenty of time to swim and sunbathe, or you can explore the nearby town of Bol, which is home to quaint streets, charming cafes and local shops. You can also discover the island of Vis, which is known for its natural beauty and secluded coves. You'll have the opportunity to swim and relax on the beaches or explore the charming village of Komitsa, which is known for its fishing traditions and picturesque harbour. A boat tour of the Croatian Dalmatian Islands gives you a chance to admire the stunning natural beauty of the Adriatic Sea, with its crystal clear waters, rugged coastline and charming islands. The tour is also a great way to learn about the local culture and cuisine, as you'll have the opportunity to sample traditional dishes and meet local people. Number 3. Climb Marjan Hill Marjan Hill is a beautiful and lush forest park located in the heart of Split. The hill stands tall at 178 meters, providing breathtaking panoramic views of the city and the Adriatic Sea. The hill is a perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and immerse yourself in nature. The park is home to numerous walking and cycling paths that lead through the beautiful Mediterranean forest, making it an ideal place for a leisurely walk or a bike ride. The paths wind up the hill through dense forests of Aleppo pine and Mediterranean shrubs, leading to stunning viewpoints and secluded picnic areas. It's also a popular spot for rock climbing, offering some of the best climbing spots in the area. The hill has a rich history dating back to the 3rd century, when the Roman Emperor Diocletian built his palace in the city. In the 19th century, Marjan Hill was declared a public park, and it's been a popular destination for locals and tourists ever since. Marjan Hill also has several historical sites to explore, including the Church of St. Nicholas, built in the 13th century, and the Church of St. Jerome. Visitors to Marjan Hill can take a stroll through the park and enjoy the beautiful views, have a picnic or barbecue, or explore the various walking and cycling paths. There are also several cafes and restaurants on the hill, where you can enjoy a refreshing drink or a traditional Croatian meal while taking in the stunning scenery. Overall, Marjan Hill is a must-visit destination for nature lovers, history buffs and anyone looking for a peaceful and beautiful escape from the busy city. Number 2. Wander around Riva Riva is a lively promenade in the heart of Split that stretches along the seafront of the Adriatic Sea. It's a favourite gathering spot for locals and tourists alike, offering stunning views of the sea, yachts and boats, as well as the historic landmarks of the old town. The promenade is lined with an array of cafes, restaurants and shops, and souvenir stands, perfect for a leisurely stroll or a cup of coffee while taking in the stunning scenery. During the summer months, Riva is especially lively with live music and street performances, making it an ideal spot to relax and people watch. Riva is also a hub for transportation to the nearby Croatian Dalmatian Islands. One of the best times to visit Riva is during the sunset, when the sky is painted in hues of orange and pink and the sun dips into the sea, offering a picturesque view. Overall, Riva is a must-visit destination in Split, offering a unique blend of historic landmarks, stunning sea views and a vibrant atmosphere. Whether you're looking for a peaceful stroll or a lively evening, Riva is a perfect spot to spend a few hours while exploring Split. Number 1. Explore Diocletian's Palace The best thing to do in Split is to explore Diocletian's Palace. Diocletian's Palace is one of the top attractions in Split and is considered to be one of the most impressive Roman ruins in the world. It was built by Emperor Diocletian in the 4th century AD as a retirement home and fortress. Today, the palace is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a bustling hub of activity, with shops, restaurants and bars nestled among ancient ruins and historic architecture. The palace covers an area of about 30,000 square meters and includes many notable sites and landmarks. 
One of the most prominent features of the palace is the Cathedral of St. Domnius. It was built in the 7th century on the site of Diocletian's mausoleum and is now the oldest Catholic cathedral in the world. The cathedral is a unique blend of Roman, Gothic and Renaissance architecture and features a 57-metre bell tower that offers breathtaking views of Split. For history buffs, the archaeological museum inside the palace is a must-see. It's located in the northeast corner of the palace and houses an extensive collection of artefacts from the Roman era, including sculptures, pottery and coins. The museum offers a fascinating glimpse into the daily life and customs of the ancient inhabitants of the palace. Visitors should also take time to explore the palace's four gates, which are all located along the palace walls. The Silver Gate is the main entrance and leads to the Peristyle, the central square of the palace. The Golden Gate is the most impressive and ornate of the gates and was reserved for the Emperor's private use. The Iron Gate and Brass Gate are both located on the west side of the palace and were used for military purposes. In addition to these main attractions, the palace also includes many other sites worth exploring, such as the Temple of Jupiter next to the Emperor's Mausoleum, which is now the Cathedral, the Vestibule, which is the grand entrance to the Imperial Corridor and the underground cellars. Visitors can also take guided tours of the palace, which provide detailed information about the history and architecture of the palace and its various landmarks. Diocletian's Palace in Split is one of the most important historical destinations in all of Europe. With its impressive landmarks, fascinating museums and stunning views, the palace is an unforgettable experience that should not be missed. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Split. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time!